In this video, we experience a traffic jam as we look at the ATC Nord Life update and the dotting is straight. It can be very scary when cars are going very slowly. Hello everyone and welcome back to an ATC video. It's been a little while since we've done an ATC video, but we're here at the Nürburgring 24 hour layout. Now, if you do enjoy this video, do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel. It does help me out and I appreciate all the support on this journey to 50,000 subscribers. So the 24 hour layout recently introduced into ATC, literally yesterday when this video is coming out. And I thought what better way to try it than doing a 24 hours of Nürburgring in 25 minutes. Yeah, it was gonna be 24 minutes, but it was set at 25. So that's what we're gonna try here then with the full grid that we can get, which is 50 cars, 49 opponents on 100 difficulty essentially. So it's on 100 and 100 as we jump to this TV camera going into turn one, which turns into a massive traffic jam. So if you're doing this online with any more than 50 cars, you're gonna be stopping at turn one basically as we go through here. You can see there, everybody going absolutely <laughs> The Porsche into the tire wall. I didn't notice that when I uh, edited this video. Yeah, Porsche into the tire wall. So we jump back into the car then. And of course, with this layout, we do a part of the GP circuit first, avoiding that Mercedes area there. Now we can see here the AI breaking quite sharply on and off up ahead. So I had to be cautious. I did attempt this a couple of times, which did end up with some failures, some funny failures as well. Now there is actually a failure with this one. And let's see if you can spot it. And I'll talk about it a bit later on as we come into this right-hander. So I chose the Bentley, if you're wondering, just because I used the Bentley here last time when we were doing an ATC race online in terms of an endurance event. And another one is coming up very soon. I think it was the 10 hours of Paul Ricard. Don't call me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's coming up. I've never done an endurance race at Paul Ricard, so it will be interesting as we see the Audi up ahead there. Getting a bit squirrely through the Schumacher S. We're going to try it around the outside. And one thing I do want to commentate on here is the difficulty of the AI. Actually, it's really good. It presented a really nice, fun challenge, and I wasn't expecting it. I've not really driven offline in the game before. I'm normally an only online guy, as you very well know. But actually, it was really fun, really, really fun to do this because there are obviously there's opportunities to overtake. I'm not the quickest out of all 50 cars here right now, and it actually presented some real fun and a bit of a challenge to me. So if you are looking to just race offline, you're seeing the experience right here, right now, as we finally get on to the Norwich Life then. And we continue on down here then. So what can I talk about the Norse Life? It feels amazing to drive. Now, you know I'm not the best fan of this circuit in terms of racing on it. Time trial, I think it's an unbelievable circuit. And if you remember, I did that endurance challenge here 24 hours non-stop. I did 241 laps over the 24 hours. That's non-stop. So I literally, I went to the toilet during a pit stop, back in the seat, off I went and continued. You can check out that stream on the channel, of course, but that's in a different game. So this circuit, you know, I'm not a fan of in terms of racing, but time trialing, yes. Now, racing in ATC on the Norwich Life actually feels not too bad, to be honest with you. The circuit feels big enough where you can race. In other games, it doesn't feel that to be the case. Up ahead, they see two people go side by side at Plug Platson. In we go. This felt nice every single time I went through here. And I could carry a lot of speed as well. It did actually feel really natural. Really, really natural to drive this car around this place. It really did. Now, we're going to see if we can do some action here by overtaking the Porsche up ahead then. And again, you're seeing the AI. It's really competitive and actually really good fun if we do want to try this offline as we go hard onto the brakes. You do have to be careful about using a lot of cars on circuit. It will use a lot of your CPU and you will see some frame drops, some significant ones as well as we continue on out of here then heading down and up towards the Fox Hole. Now, this is a place that obviously I'm quite familiar with because it's where I crashed in an E3 video as we go up here then getting very close and you don't want to cut too much of the left hander there as we go into the right you're noticing the curbs are very pronounced as well here in atc at the norwich life literally you hit a curb you go flying you really do in terms of those bumps as we go through the right hander so you do have to try and avoid them to be honest with you as we get a huge big bump then uh, leaving that exit curb here now you're probably going titch why are you in cockpit cam you don't normally use this no i just wanted a bit of immersion so you know when i talk about when i'm racing to try and get the fastest laps yes I will go on bonnet cam. But when I just want a bit of immersion, a bit of fun, yeah, I will drive on this camera. It feels great to do that. But this is the difference, you know, depending on the environment, depending on what I play, will depend on the camera I use as we go into this right-hander. Now, coming out of here then, in towards the left, then there, was it hit, miss, hit, or whatever it is? I can't actually remember the actual name of the corner here. But this corner felt so good. It was actually really hard to get right, if I'm honest with you, as you go through here. And this wasn't too bad on this particular lap here then, as we head down towards this hairpin, which was extremely hard 
to get right. It really was. Okay, we're trying our best here. We've got a train of cars behind us there. You can see the Audi R8 in our rear view leading that pack then. And we're in P42 at the moment. We're not getting very much in terms of that. And we do have to do the uh, track. We've got to lap three times, essentially, to make sure we get that competency record up. It's on zero at the moment as we go through the right-hander. Sorry, that's the competition, isn't it? Apologies. I can't remember those numbers on the right side because I don't go online anymore in terms of the official servers. I do all the competition races in terms of RCI and LFM and all that good stuff. Right, it was the right we go. We are using the Coach Dave Academy setup, by the way, for those wondering. I do love Coach Dave Academy, the way it's set up and easily loadable now. It really is great as we continue on out of here. No, I haven't bought it. I was giving it, and I appreciate that by Dave as well. As we continue on then, up here we go. Let's see if we can catch up to that Porsche up ahead. Not seeing too much action on this one. Each time I did try this race. Oh, we're going into our rear view camera then and looking at the train of cars. As we go down this straight, then climbing up the hill a little bit here as well as we go through the right there. Oh, the Audi R8's off. Oh, big crash. Huge crash. We have lift off of another Audi R8 then as they go spinning. And the AI crashes as well. You see that right there then as we head through this right hander up ahead. Oh, hello. We've got another car stopped then. And the 911 decides to hit them for whatever reason. Let's continue on. But, oh, I'll say continue on. Look at this. We've got a traffic jam straight into the back of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just run them. Why not? Let's have a look at exactly what happened. We're on the P2 AI here. As they go into here, they get rear-ended then and get spun around. So what happens here then? We've got a Lamborghini stuck in the middle of the road. We've got a red BMW M4 who decides to stop. We've got the row M4 who pushes them along after hitting the barrier. And here's where the traffic jam ensues. The AI could probably do a bit of improvement on this little bit maybe. But even so, it was good fun racing the AI. We're just fast-forwarding a little bit here as cars continue to go in. And the R8 decides to mount the Lamborghini to rotate itself. Yeah, I imagine a lot of cars do that, actually, that, with that Lamborghini front end. Right, let's get on with the racing, then, as you see here. It's like a rolling start again, halfway through the lap. So we're going to head towards the carousel now. The carousel on this version on ACC, essentially, very hard to do. I've got to be honest, I actually struggled nailing the carousel right at all as we go through here. See, the AI is struggling a little bit as well to nail it right as we continue on out of there. I think it's almost spun out on the left-hand side there. That's why everyone was going so slowly. We're up into P39 after all said and done here. We're having a good race with the Porsche AI. And again, I've got to compliment how fun this actually is versus the AI. You know, in other games, the AI is very easy. You just beat them by a mile. You know, going back to GT7 AI, Project Cars 2 AI, I could beat that quite easily. Here, I was finding it extremely difficult. And actually, I say, fun. I love it when you can have some fun offline. And it's not just about all about online. And here we are as I let the Porsche go then try and get back into well a line of stern essentially as we go through this technical section up towards this right hand then we're going to head towards youtube corner of course very known for its crashes in real life as we go into this left hand a long train of cars look at that stream of cars now i know some of the streamers and content creators have done 100 car lobbies imagine seeing 100 cars come through here it would be biblical and i'm looking forward to doing an endurance race here where we have multi-class of gt3 gt4 maybe Porsche cup in there as well or GT2 even on here. Oh, that'd be quite an interesting concept to see, wouldn't it? As we continue on up here then. And we're still stuck in the traffic trying to judge where to place our car here. As we head towards the jump here, you do have to lift off a little bit here beforehand. I did try it flat out once and it wasn't the greatest idea as we continue on. There was a yellow flag somewhere. I can't quite see it. So it must still be up ahead as we nearly go off the circuit then. Managed to save it there as we go down here. Where is this yellow flag? Double yellow as well. So we should be going a bit slower than this, but we're following everybody else here up ahead then. Oh, there they are. They're parked up on that left-hand side. And we're back to green flag racing then with the Porsche trying down the inside then. And I'm hoping this shows how good the AI actually is and how much fun you can actually have without looking for an online event here. Because that, that's what I was unsure of. I was like, should I just go online, do a public lobby? I was like, no, everybody's going to be doing that. Let's do it offline. Let's show off this AI if it's any good. It's good. Look, you're watching. You're witnessing this right now as we go into this right hand. And you've seen a full lap here of the North Life. That's what I wanted to show you as we get onto the Dossinghurst straight then. And we are going to have some pace. The Porsche 11 up ahead was the one that was rear-ending everybody. So we know they've got damage and we're about to see that damage as we go clean on by the... Yeah, you should have rear-ended everyone, mate. Oh, like literally the Ferrari on the side of the road, then the entire pack was stopped and you just rear-ended them as well. Right, up ahead though, look at this. You're going to see people darting absolutely everywhere. Look at this. <laughs> left, right, left, right. Where are they going to go? And we're catching them up as well. So the Coach Dave Academy set up here, proving that straight line speed is definitely worthwhile here on the dotting and straight. You'll gain so much time as well. So it is good to have a 
a very efficient car in a straight line, should we say, as we come down here. So I'm backing off a little bit here. I'm not sure where everybody is going to go then as we head into the final couple of corners here on the Nord Life. Now, have you noticed the problem yet, folks? As we, oh, hello. Someone was stopped on the right side. What happened there then? No idea. That's a very damaged Ferrari. So we've got a few AI cars going into the pits. We'll gain a few here. Anybody notice the problem? Yes, I put it on times 24 time multiplier, but it wasn't quick enough. So we're actually going to be doing the 24 hours of Nürburgring in this particular race. We are going to do another one where I'll show you the highlights of that, of course, as we go in towards turn one on the inside of a Porsche then. And we go towards the left. They've got the inside. So we're just going to wait it here. Very hard to judge it right here in cockpit camera in terms of that inside tire wall. Maybe why the... Uh, the AI car hit it in turn one lap number one. I'm not too sure. We hit the bump there. This shows you how lethal the curbs can be as we go off at the foxhole. Very similar incident to the E3 video, of course, as we're now trying to bring it back on and bring it back on safely as well as we come back on the circuit then. And we lose a couple of positions there. That AMG GT3 car going ahead of me then. Let's advance further on in the video then. It's night time. It's a dotting you straight. Now, I wanted to show you this because I was surprised by this. It's very scary. Look at this. We've got a very slow car on the right, which you see at the very last second. One that span, which is really scary. So if you're in a endurance race, you've got to be careful of this. Another very slow car there. Yeah, pretty lethal, to be honest with you. But that's when I noticed it wasn't going to be 24 hours. So I decided to restart it. And here we go then with another race. I'll show you the highlights of this one and show you a true atmosphere at night on the Nürburgring as well. So I'm going to show you the start because the start is always messy here and do expect this in online events, offline events, absolutely everywhere. The AI seems to stay to the left there so you can get a few positions as we go into this right hander going very slowly indeed. We're sort of hooked on somebody here. And then we've got, uh, I think that was a McLaren, this guy McLaren going a very much airborne there as they hit the tire wall and everybody rear ends them. Oh, they went absolutely flying, which was kind of funny to see. So we head towards the carousel then here in the lap. This is the first lap. We're seeing that the time's advancing much quicker now. Let's go through here. I noticed everybody just stops up ahead very slowly indeed. So the McLaren goes on by. We're looking to try and get by as well as we continue on. The Audi R8 was like, nope, you're not going through, Titch. So we eventually get going there. So another incident there with the AI cars. We go on to, well, towards the end of lap one then on the dotting of straight there. Now it's pitch black now. It's nearly 11 o'clock at night. That time advancing very quickly indeed. And I wanted to show the environment at night as well because I figured this is what the green hell is all about, isn't it, really? Let's be honest with you. The darkness. Not fully seeing the brake markers that you would normally see in the day as we go into this right-hander. What can you use? But, and I will advance over on here in the lap where we join the Norge Life again. It's the atmosphere. Now, I've been to the Nürburgring in 24 hours at night. I've been to the parties. Look at that. It's just so much atmosphere. I love the light reflection. It just gives you just that added atmosphere. Now, doing this in a proper 24-hour race that will be experienced on ACC, I'm sure there'll be lots of the events going to happen this year. It's just nice to see this sort of environment, the atmosphere, seeing those parties on the outskirts of the circuit because this is what happens in real life. And it's just brought into the game, just adds that little bit more, you know, the eye candy, the atmosphere, the immersion that some people are after. You're going to see it right there. I really wish I had VR at this moment. I would have loved to experience this in VR. And it's something I'm going to be looking at in the future going forward. But yeah, that was absolutely awesome. I'm going to head towards Flood Plat Center at night, which can be very scary indeed here as we get towards the top then. But it's going to be a slight lift as we chuck it into here. And not too shabby at all. Again, look at the lights up ahead. You're seeing the parties. Not so much of the parties there with the light shining off it. But even so, it's just nice seeing that. And we're holding up a lot of cars behind us here. We're about to move on in the lap then. And we're halfway through the race at this moment in time. So now we are doing the 24 hours. Or I say we were going to do in 24 hours because of what is about to happen next. Yes, funny moment here. I clip the curb on the inside. It forces some monster on me. Go for a big old crash. Look at this for a crash and a half. Huge moment there here at the Nürburgring 24 hour. It really was a huge moment. Let's actually have a look at that on the chase camera then. So as we came through here, what we're going to do is accidentally clip the curb on the left hand side. Spin a bit further over towards the right. We clip it. We go off, understeer off. We're going to hit the barrier and a huge, absolutely huge moment as we get carried around there. Uh, and you know what? That's a part of the green hell. That's a part of the fun, isn't it? As we finish with a crash. So a really good addition to ACC. It's nice to see because GT3 cars do race here. But something else appeared on my Twitter timeline today. Or X timeline, should I say. What was that? Well, it was this announcement right here. 2024, we're going to see a brand new Assetto Corsa. Not Competizione, Assetto Corsa. It's the evolution, as they've called it. 
Evo there. That's going to be very interesting indeed. Hopefully, we can have a look at that one. I've enjoyed Assetto Corsa 1 greatly. I've, I have driven it quite a bit in the past, and it'll be interesting to see how they're going to go about Evo. That's going to be it for this video, though. If you did enjoy it, do give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel. Two companies there that help me out massively, and I do get kickbacks from those discounts and use codes. Uh, but that's going to be it for me, folks. Big thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in another video or live stream again very soon.